This small thing here is a diffraction grating and you can use it with a laser to actually measure the wavelength of light. Now on the front it has a number of lines per millimetre for the grating itself and there's a common mistake that I've seen lots of students make and I've made it myself is that sometimes you use that number there in your equation. Now the question I'm going to go through here is the kind of thing that you should be aiming to get 100% correct 100% of the time. When you've got exams the calculations tend to be the easier marks to get and therefore you want to make sure that any calculation coming up you approach it in a similar method to make sure you get all the marks that you possibly can. This question actually came from one of my daily workout books. This is book three which is for the later part of year 12 and includes lots of information and lots of questions about all of the practical activities you're going to be covering in your first year of A-level physics. So this is the question here. Uh, the first one is to calculate the grating spacing for a diffraction grating with 400 lines per millimetre. So if there are 400 lines per millimetre, then that means there's going to be 400 times 10 to the 3 lines per metre. But we want to know the distance between each one, and therefore we're going to take the reciprocal of that, which when you do that in your calculator, gives you an answer of 2.50 uh, times 10 to the minus 6 and the units for that are going to be meters. I've given that to three significant figures because we've been given this data here to three significant figures as well. Of course we can go the other way and the second question if we've got the the distance between the gratings we can then look at how many lines per millimeter that would be. So here uh, if there's 5.0 times 10 to the minus 6 uh, meters between each spacing then all we need to do is do 1 divided by that number, 5.0 times 10 to the minus 6, and then this gives an answer of 200,000 lines per metre, but we're going to be looking at this per millimetre, so that's going to be equal, I'm just going to put that as per metre, and therefore that's equal to 200 lines per millimetre. And of course, if you want to go down the same route of being really clear about your significant figures, we can also give this as 2.0 times 10 to the 2 uh, lines per millimeter. Okay, so that's just that number written to two significant figures. Okay, the next one is the kind of thing that you'll probably get in maybe a multiple choice question in one of your exams or maybe part of a bigger question. Um, the first thing I'm going to be doing is writing down the equation that says d sine theta is equal to n lambda. So here we've got d which is what we worked out up here. That's going to be the grating spacing. And here we want to look at the angle. So if we rearrange this to make theta the subject, that's going to be uh, sine to the minus 1 of n lambda divided by d. Okay, so all I've done here is I've written out the equation, I've rearranged to make theta the subject, and then we can put in some numbers. And here we're looking at uh, something which is going to be the second order, so therefore n is going to be 2. Uh, lambda is the wavelength, which in this case is 400 nanometers, so that's 400 times 10 to the minus 9. And we're going to divide that, because it's the grating in part A, uh, by 2.50 times 10 to the minus 6. Okay, so you can just whack that all into your calculator, giving me an answer equal to 18.6629. But we're going to give the final answer to three significant figures, like this number, like that number over there, and therefore theta is equal to 18.7 degrees. Now, if you want to get more practice at these calculations, which are going to form the backbone of any tests and exams that you've got coming up, I've got loads more in my uh, daily workout, so there are questions for every day of the course. And also, if you go to alevelphysicsonline.com, my website, you can find a load of work solutions that you can download, as well as video solutions to all of the questions. So for that question, when you're looking at diffraction gratings, make sure you actually work out the distance between the gratings rather than the number of lines per millimetre, which is often the data that you're given. Hopefully you won't make that mistake in the future and hopefully you'll get a few more marks in any exams and tests that you've got coming up.